Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment my guy down below. That's going to do two things for y'all. We got great news, man. This is a great day, man. Look, we get we first off you going you tomorrow we giving away fifty dollars, man. The way I'm feeling, we might give away a hundred. Get the video to a thousand likes, we giving away two fifty dollar packs tomorrow. That's what we gonna do. It's gonna be fifty dollars in cash out, fifty dollars in VC, or I'll buy you a copy of two K, whichever it is. Also, when we get to the end of the month, man, I want y'all. Uh, we we gonna give away a, a next gen console or something like that. So it might be an Xbox, might be a PlayStation. It'll just be whatever y'all ask for, man. Make sure y'all busy yourselves down to like my my boy Hard Eight. Busy yourself. Are busy yourself make sure and also liking the video it helps it go out to everybody like like when you like the video it helps us get closer to that also covered in 100k because it's it, it helps the video send the notifications out to the people that has been subscribed to us and so when they miss subscribe to us sometimes they don't go out y'all liking and commenting on the video that helps me and so because y'all helping me i'm helping y'all man without further ado good morning out there in 2k land man it's a great day man i just spoke to my guy um, and he gonna be everything is gonna be all right. He's coming back. Hey, just like he said he would. Hey, man, look, man, look. I just wanted to let y'all know. I just talked to him. I've been keeping up with him and all that good stuff, man. He says he's, he's he's good. Um, what what what's going on with him? Uh, he's he gonna be fine. It's treatable. Everything's awesome and all that. So everything is awesome. It's gonna be good, man. So like I guess I literally just talked to him like five minutes ago. Still talking to him right now. So he's gonna be good. Um, I hate to see anybody end up having to go to the hospital and they don't know what's wrong and all that. I'm gonna let him tell y'all what's going on. But I just wanted y'all to let let you all know that he's uh <laughs> that he's good to go man and he said hey he said you already know he gonna be back. now he can get back out there and get to selling like it instantly that's all that's all we want man <laughs> so we good man first up man uh just right off the presses we got the boy ej saying get your ass up stop being lazy this morning all of y'all grinders asleep all of my grinders asleep and i'm still the only one still up editing so i can upload on youtube and TikTok later on y'all don't really want it for real huh what he really saying is get up mother Woo! mother get up that's what he's trying to tell y'all man hey hold on man hold on hold on real quick Let's, let's go back and look at this defensive play right here, bro. Look at this right here. This dude is dribbling the ball up the court, and he think he all good. He's way too big to be dribbling this ball. He gonna try to do something. I'm gonna take away the side where I really feel like he gonna, he's gonna come here. A lot of times you'll see me say, if he switch hands with the ball, I'm taking that, right? And then he switch hands with the ball, runs straight into me. Bro, what am I supposed to do in this situation? Y'all let me know. Am I just supposed to let him? I, I've done everything I'm supposed to do right here, right? So I took away, I, I thought I was gonna reach early, but I went ahead, I took away this inside. I know he's trying to go ahead, but the rim. I took that away. He runs directly into me, picks the ball up, fumbles it. I pushed, I'm pushing the button now when I see him fumbling the basketball, right? So my eye, you, you already see my eyes is on the ball, my eyes on the prize. I'm doing that. What am I supposed to do in this situation? We're supposed to just let people dribble that ain't really supposed to dribble or they can't dribble, man. Like, that's, I think that's why people are mad about the steals, but you know, that's that's what all I'm saying right there. That boy Trey Young says another day, another opportunity. Y'all already know what that mean, man. Another day, another opportunity. And that's another opportunity for y'all to go backwards and watch that video that I did last night. A lot of y'all gonna be mad, but it's the GOAT contest, man. What we did was we put Michael Jordan, we put uh, LeBron James, in the um in the in the eighties and let him be drafted the same year as Michael Jordan and we saw who's gonna win the championship first. Go back and like that video up, man. Get that saying some love, man. We I think somebody said they wanna do Kobe. They wanna do Kobe in the uh put Kobe in the Jordan area and see. Let let them let them three ho horses go against each other. But if we do that, bro, you know Kobe gonna win year one because because um Magic them was there at that point in time. So maybe we put all three of them in the Jordan era and see who dominate. Because I think the Jordan era starts 91, 92, 93, and that's when Jordan won his first joint. So we might do that. Um but but yeah, I, I, the video was good, man. And it is actually surprising, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. But yeah, go check that thing out and uh and let me know what it says. Hey, that boy famous enough says 2K players fumble so many bags. Hey, but I, I really just can't. <laughs> where they at though? Ain't no lies told here, but where they at though? Cause that's what I'm out here for. That boy iPod King Carter say, hey, let me go ahead and jump on those loose ball, lo lo those that loose ball real quick. You know King Carter is I'm a hustler, baby. 
King Carter ain't missing no bag. That boy's sponsored by Mountain Dew and all that good stuff, boy. So, hey, we already know what that is. And then that boy Problem Right, the GOAT himself, the GOAT Problem Right says, I'm going to be a 2K player one day. Where the bags at? Hey, that boy Problem Right been getting them, getting bags since since on ESPN on the bus talking about what's that? Let me see. He said, scrub the toilet. Scrub the toilet. Hey, man, y'all know what it is. If you know, you know. It's old head stuff, man. Y'all know what it is, man. That boy Swante said, hey, same is complaining about people complaining be complaining. This has to stop, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, that's really how it go, man. It's like, we play this game. Everybody complain about everything. But then it's like, it's like, I'm gonna complain about what you do. Then you gonna complain about what I do. And then I complain about what you do, but I really do the same thing. So like, people will say, man, y'all don't do nothing but rim run. And then they get out there with a, th with a 99 three ball and then they rim running too. They don't shoot, they ain't putting up no threes either. So it really be like, bro, what are we complaining about? Or people be, like we said, people complain about steals. And that right there is the power of anchor right there, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Hey, let's run that back. Run it back, run it back. I just want to use this pad because I have it in a couple of days. Look, we already here. My guy's going back door. I miscommunicated because uh, he was coming down. I thought I was going to get the steal. I ain't going to miscommunicate. But you see me going, going to make this beeline here. Root going to make a little beeline. Hey, even Gambit, even Gambito about to make a little joint, man. And look, he goes in, smokes the dunk. And what do we have here? Anchor. We got Anchor. We're going to do a video on the power of Anchor. But even Anchor on just bronze is something that is that is immaculate. I'm telling you, immaculate. That thing smacking. And, like, you'll get a lot of stops down there. You're going to get a lot of good block animations and all of that good stuff, man. So if you got good interior but you're not getting the stops, put bronze on Anchor. And I promise you, you're going to be gold. You're going to be good, man. But uh, like I said, bro, it, it, it is what it is on the thing. Like like we said, people will be like, rim running is an issue and the steals is an issue. But the people that are saying it, no steals is an issue, the only way they know how to play defense is to spam them also. So it, it's crazy, but you know it is what it is. That boy, Dr. Disrespect, get up in here. And that boy said, go get a life if you think skill-based matchmaking belongs in pub lobbies. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, this is one of the touchiest subjects in the game because people talk to us about it all the time, too, about, like, how we go into the wreck and we have five and we raffle stump people in there and a lot of people be like, uh, man, you know, everybody that we playing against, everybody gonna have the same name. It'd be like, it'd be like, it'd be like easy Easy be winning, easy be cooking, easy be be chilling, easy be, it be that right there. And then at the end of it, when you beat them, when they're clearly a team and a clan, what does everybody always say? Oh, I was playing with randoms. Okay, so you just happened to get put in with five randoms with the four randoms that had the exact same name right there. Woo, that why that boy Bruce and Sim on the scene, we get him in the best pass in the game. Look at that boy run through here and navigate. But look, 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 as, as the dude gonna jump, why does he come down off me? Look at that boy Bruce Sim, he already looking over here. This dude right here, he's coming down. This dude, he's coming down. What Brute about to do? He about to send that thing, hum that thing to the corners of Humdinger. There you go. Steamer trays up. Splash down. Anyway, man, a lot of people, even though they're, they'll come in the wreck and be like, well, we not a squad. And you got y'all all got the same name. So y'all all just happen to be be pub squad or all happen to be easy squad or king squad or whatever it is. They come in there and then they always swear that they not, they're not a team or whatever. And it's like one of those things where we know how the wreck works. Um well, and, and like in Call, we're going to get to that because in Call of Duty, it works a little bit differently. But uh, I, these are some of the takes that the people had on. I'm going somewhere with it, so y'all just rock with me. And dude says, skill-based matchmaking is, is literally the implementation of go pick on someone your own size. If you are complaining about it, it's because you want to bully lesser skill players to, to feel better about yourself. I was with you till you said feel better about yourself. And then when you say feel better about yourself, I don't think anybody feel like really cares about it being good at the video game. A lot of people do, but I don't. So to that part, I gotta say, shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. Like I'm too good at too many things in the real world for me to be caring about doing something on a video game. But at the same time, I do understand what you're trying to say because some people just want to post 
crazy gameplays, and that's the only thing that's gonna get views on YouTube, and they can't get those gameplays anymore. But the problem is they manipulate the skill-based matchmaking and, and reverse boost backwards, and then they playing against five LJs, and then they still get the joints anyway, so it really doesn't matter. This is the perspective, so that's one perspective on it. It's like pick on somebody your own size, but, and I do understand that because if you're playing somebody at a similar level, then you can gradually get better. But y'all act like y'all constantly playing people at a higher level, but that's just, when that's just not the case either. In pubs, I feel like the mixed lobbies are cool, but hey, if, if they don't want to mix it up, it is what it is. I really don't care. I can get my games uh, regardless. Uh, the boy Michael Snyder, he just said, he said some different, or, or wait, I want to play a casual video game with friends. Of a, of a different skill than myself and they absolutely hate playing with me and feel like they're being punished because of the skill gaps. There's no variety in matches like there used to be. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, man, bro. And y'all think I'm playing, bro. I got friends that I play with in real life. I play 2K with them. We play basketball. We done played basketball for 10, 15 years together. When Call of Duty come out, they say, Jay, don't even come over here and join our lobby. We don't like playing with you. They say we done had good games all night, but as soon as Jay joined, it's a wrap. And it's been like this since Black Ops one. And when they try, when they try that like skill-based black matchmaking, wasn't in it, or maybe that's when it first came out, but it wasn't as thick since Black Ops, the original Black Ops. They'd be like, bro, we can't play with, you. we can't play with you, man. Because, and these are regular lobbies to me, but to them, these are the hardest lobbies they've ever been in. And it's just like, yo, uh, like, like th th I, don't, I don't get it. It is what it is, though. They, they really don't want to play with me, and I can't even enjoy playing the game with them. I can play with Bridget, because Bridget don't care about that. But they want to actually do somewhat well. So they, they're like, no, nah, we can't play with you, bro. You're too good at the game. And we want to play with you. Back in the day, we used to be able to play with you, and you could carry. And it was good, because we're going to win all the games. But even, even back then, when I was playing with them, and I was carrying, they weren't having any fun. I played with T Mills uh, 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 on, on the last Call of Duty. Me and T was in the lobby. We playing Mercenary Team, not Mercenary Team Deathmatch. We playing um, Hardcore Team Deathmatch. I'm playing with them, right? And T like, yo, this is we playing, and his homeboys and all them, like, I'm, I'm literally carrying. I'm getting 30 kills a game, but T wasn't having no fun at all. And I'm like, I'm, I'm going to get up out of here because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do that. Uh, the next person said, you know, I don't want to ruin the game for y'all, man. It's just like when I get on the court sometimes, I'll uh, go to the gym, and they be like, nah, man, we would have picked you up, bro, but we want to make the game be fun, so we're not going to pick you up. So, like, you also get alienated by that, too. One dude says, I have a, I have a life I spend with my wife and my son whenever I can. Skill-based matchmaking makes makes card, playing card funnish for people that have a life outside of streaming and don't have time to sweat nine hours a day. Play a different game. I can't even hate on that because, to, because to be honest, I just proved what I'm talking about when I said it. I was in those games and I'm carrying those guys. But the thing is, they're not really having any fun. But the skill-based matchmaking is doing what it's supposed to do. It puts them against slightly higher competition, and then I'll go against slightly lower competition, and I'm gonna walk through that slightly lower competition, but it's just not fun for those guys to have to have to do it. So I understand, I understand the standpoint, and we get to the point in a second. That boy Lego fan said the outrage behind skill-based matchmaking only comes from people who claim to be good at the game, but actually aren't and enjoy beating up on bums. I feel offended. I like whooping the shit out some scrubs. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm it's me. I'm I ain't gonna lie to you. I like whooping the shit out of scrubs all the time. But at the same time, when we run into a battle, I'm not gonna shy away from it. And we are not always perform because as T will tell you and Brood always, well, I turn up for competition. Like we play scrubs all day, then I turn up for competition. Then I blow that right there because you know it is what it is. But uh, we, we're not gonna talk about that. But anyway, beat bombs all day when you should be playing people at your own skill. Well, who says you should be playing people at your own skill? You, you can't. You can only play. I can, as I said back in Call of Duty, I can only wax the asses that have been placed before. <laughs> y'all remember that? If y'all remember that, give me a thumbs up down there, man. Uh, she said, but I don't want to sweat hard. And then he said, then don't. And I get what he's trying to say, but I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna give you the flip side of it. So one dude says, LMAO, I'm good at the game, and sometimes I want to chill and play. And he says, nah, I just think it's funny how people good at the game want their want their moment to chill and beat up on uh trash bags and then give zero freaks about it if the trash bag want to play other people in their level because freak them 
I, I mean, because freak them and it's all about me. They gotta just deal with it. Now, I think the way they used to do it back in the day, though, was was probably perfect. Cause I don't think really, really anybody had a real issue with how they did it back in the day, where it was like lobbies. You could go lobby surfing if you were gonna try to look for a good lobby or whatever. Me, I just played who was in front of me, and I would try to make the good people. This is how I've always played Call of Duty. I would play and I would never back out because I would try to make the good people leave the lobby so that I could have an easy lobby. You understand what I'm saying? So I did have some easy lobbies with call of duty but at the same time if i was ever in one it was because i made them leave look at this dude right here bro this is the power of anchor and 75 i mean and 85 interior right here bro look i jumped he thought he had me i still got up under there got a great contest and then he smokes it anchor pops up 13 percent covered and we keep moving that, that's that's just that's just great defense right there and then he then he, now he tired so he's not gonna hit that so it is what it is i understand what you're saying the only other issue that i got with the whole skill based matchmaking is the flip side of it that when they get ready to punish you or when you do have your two because they try to keep you at a con they want everybody to go to trend toward a 1.0 kd so no matter how good you are they're gonna want to want you to trend toward that 1.0 right but if you're better and better, then they're gonna try to beat you down. I, I'm cool with playing people on my level because playing people on my level, I'm always gonna get the best of them because I can just change my strategy up and they're gonna be, you know, you understand what I'm saying? It's gonna be what it, it's gonna be what it is. The problem comes in with the, so the way that 2K does, I ain't got no problem with it. You go in direct with one, you're probably gonna play all randoms. You go with two, you'll probably play two and then and then with three people um if you go in with three you probably play three and two or whatever like that but you still be playing with randoms you go in with four or more you go in with four you're probably gonna get a bot and if you go in with five you always gonna play against a team of five but when you're playing against that team of five that team of five could be five random people that decided to stay together for two or more games and then the game considers them a team and then that's what ends up happening so so that's them we just putting that out there conversely and, and then there's no matchmaking in 2K uh, other than the other joints. So, like, I don't even know why we're talking about it on 2K. But when you're talking about it in Call of Duty and stuff like that, bro, let me tell you something on Call of Duty. You will be playing the game. You have one good game. You was playing against you was playing against uh, Team Squirrel Man or whatever you want. They're going to put you the next five games. The next five games, the next game. If you Let's say if I, I, I go crazy and do 30 kills, right? I'm playing solo. I go crazy and get 30 kills in the lobby. The next lobby I'm gonna play against is gonna be SEAL Team 6. Then it's gonna be uh, Project Poison Apple and the Gray Man, the next one. Then I'm gonna play the Power Rangers. Then I'm gonna play the X-Men. And then I'm gonna play the Dora Milaje after that. That's, and it's gonna be me by myself. And everybody on my team is gonna be negative And I'm still gonna be sitting around a 1, 1 1.2 KD. That's what the problem is. It ain't the problem that when you playing in Call of Duty, that you can't you can't do well when they get ready to punish you you can't even move in the lobby that's what the problem is <laughs> and if y'all play call of duty y'all like it man y'all let me know because i'm gonna be playing that call of duty this weekend man i'm gonna be playing it tonight so y'all make sure y'all come by the stream and uh and and do what y'all gotta do and i uh, i gotta get up out of here man last but not least let me just show y'all this before we get up out of here bro what y'all think he about to do right here that boy <laughs> Look, I'm thinking he about to. I'm thinking he about to get him a handful right there and slap some ass or something. Nah, nah. Then I think. Then I think. Yeah, he like. Eh, he wearing his options. And then I'm thinking he on some. But tonight, baby, I wanna get freaky with you. That's what I'm thinking he about to do. And then that joke is like, but then he's a bomb. Get you. <laughs> Bro, she putting up a happy birthday. Look at the sinister look. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Oh, you say demonious son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, man, that's all I'm saying, man. Skill-based matchmaking is cool. It's just the way that it manifests itself, and it just beats you down sometimes. I ain't got no problem with it, but, uh, because I'm always going to rise to the occasion, but sometimes it's just it's just a little bit overboard, especially the way they do it in Call of Duty. Me and Brute play together. Nobody wants to play with us because we don't always going to end up. We go against, when we play together, it raises the skill to the point we just play it against cheaters, people using one shot weapon, all the cheap weapons, they camping, they they literally wall hacking everything. So, and I'm not saying I'm and I'm not even that good. So if I was good, you know, I can only imagine. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all comment my guy down below and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,